So the guys at PicoScope have sent me this uh, pressure transducer that they've got on the website at the minute. And if you're in the market for an affordable pressure transducer with BNC Plus for your PicoScope 4425A, this might be just the thing that you're looking for. So it's called the PQ334 and it's a 14 bar uh, pressure transducer. If you go over to the website, you should go to the accessories page, not the pressure sensors. So if we go over onto accessories, we can scroll down a bit there and see that we've got that pressure transducer with foster adapter. So let's see what it comes with. So this here is the box that they sent it in and here we've got that pressure transducer with BNC plus. So we can just plug it in and it will automatically set up the software. Uh, we've got a little male foster adapter there. We've got this right angle adapter here and this double ended so you could change it from male to female. So the idea with these adapters is that you can use it with other tools that you might already have like compression testing hoses. So this one that I've got here is not from PicoScope. It's from Ditex, but it plugs straight in there. So let's plug it into the oscilloscope and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're running at the minute. Let's plug it in. And we can see there straight away that it's changed to this pressure transducer. Let's just go into the probes and see what we've got. So there we are, 13 and a half bar pressure sensor. We can also zero offset there from that probes menu as well, which is pretty cool. So we are on the one and a half bar scale here. So if we, uh, we can see that that increases in pressure. Um, it also measures negative as well. So it's the type of sensor that measures zero at atmospheric pressure, which is what we really kind of want for diagnostics. So if we just turn the time up a bit there, we have to see it over longer. So it's pretty sensitive. We're looking at small pressures there created by me, 50 millibar. So it'd be interesting to see how it works with the really low stuff as well, but it's suitable for petrol compression, uh, fuel systems, things like that not suitable for diesel compression. Here's the diesel compression test that we did with the WPS 500. And we can see here that it's going up to around 20 bar. So don't use this for your diesel compression. Okay, so we'll just remove this from here. We'll just pop in this generic compression test hose that we've got. So it's really good that they've made these tools to be compatible with other equipment that you might already have. And I suppose if it wasn't, you could kind of find the adapters to screw on the end of here so that it did work. Okay, so there it is. It's in and ready to go. So I'm gonna set this to the highest setting. We'll leave it running at 500 milliseconds and go and start the engine. Okay, so we can see that there it's got plenty of space above there for us to you know, rev it up as well. So I'll save this waveform and you can head over to mechanicmindset.com and download it from the free access area. We've also got some uh, PicoScope and oscilloscope training courses available to help you get the most out of your oscilloscope diagnostics. So make sure you go and check those out as well. Okay, so here is our waveform. Let's uh, zoom into it here to see what it looks like. Okay, so that's a, a pretty clean waveform there. We can then use the phase rulers then to take a look at that in a little bit more detail. We just head over to rulers, turn on the phase rulers. They're already on 720 degrees. So let's bring it over this way. And there we are. Now we'll set the zero line. So that's something that I always like to do for in-cylinder pressure as it gives us a good indication of 
what's happening on the intake and expansion strokes plus exhaust back pressure. So there we can see really that that's give us quite a nice clean waveform. So there we go, that's a quick look at that PicoScope PQ334 for the 4425A oscilloscope. It'd be great to let me know what you think about this pressure transducer in the comments below and what else you think we might be able to use it for based on how sensitive we saw this one was.